So a photographer buddy of mine asked me to build him a uh, system for Photoshop and I used this motherboard. Out of all the ones that I see, I use this one and I'm going to tell you why in a second, so stay tuned. So we're taking a look at the MSI P45 Neo 3. Now my buddy does really big RAW files and he uh, edits in Photoshop, he uh, converts all his photos from RAWs to JPEGs, he does all his high-end work, but he had a very tight budget. And this is the board that I picked. Now you're going to ask why, obviously. I'll tell you what, this is an entry-level board from MSI, but it does use the new P45 chipset from Intel and it does use the ICH-10R uh, Southbridge chipset. So it does have RAID support, it does have PCI Express 2.0, and most importantly, it supports the 1333 MHz frontside bus native Intel processors, which are the 45NM, uh, the E-series, the 6000s, and the 8000s, which is what I ended up going with. So with a board like this, just over a hundred dollars you actually get all the stuff that you need with none of the extra stuff you don't uh, so he wasn't going to be using two video cards it's got one PCI Express 2.0 slot doesn't need more than that but he doesn't need onboard graphics either that's not there uh, now he also wanted to use a fast processor his budget was around seven hundred dollars I ended up getting him into an E8400 so very fast a very large hard drive it does have SATA support and so ended up building him an amazing system with everything he could possibly need, super powerful for all his Photoshop needs, uh, for under $800 and like way under, like just above $700. Excellent system, very high end, very low budget board though. Very uh, cost conscious. Uh, so you don't get anything you don't need, you do get everything you do. Let's take a look real quick at what you do get you do get up here on the top eight SATA ports. Now these SATA ports do support uh, SATA 2, which is the three gigabit per second. You also have RAID support, zero, one, zero, plus one, and five. So for storing his redundant uh, photos, he wanted to do a mirrored array. He has a backup of all his photos and it's never gonna, he's never gonna lose anything. It also has, if you look around at all the construction of the board, it's all top notch. Solid state capacitors, shielded chokes, uh, will regulate your current and increase the efficiency of the overall board. Now, the, the socket on this is 775 LGA, so it will support the 1333 MHz frontside bus, your E8400s, it'll support your quad cores, even your extremes. Now, this board has a little jumper on here. If you pull it off, it will support the 1600 MHz frontside bus with overclocking. So you could even put a QX9770 in here uh, if you wanted to. Now, uh, if you look over here, we have a PCI Express 2.0 X16 slot, so you can load your one video card, whether it be a, a huge video card or a small one, depending on your needs, you have that ability. Now, here's another Another great thing about this board, four PCI slots. So let's say you're doing a Pro Tools workstation and you have a lot of audio cards you need to insert there. You have four of them. That's more than most uh, gaming boards come with nowadays. They usually don't come with this many. You do have a PCI Express X1 slot and you do have a couple legacy uh, floppy and uh, up at the top you have your IDE up here. Now, let's take a look at your back panel over here. You have two PS2s for your mouse and your keyboard. You have a couple legacy uh, ports here. You have your parallel and your serial, which it can be useful to some people. Two, uh, four USB 2.0s, you have gigabit LAN, and you have 7.1 uh, HD audio right on board, so no additional sound cards necessary. Let's take a look at the cooling on this thing, pretty impressive as well. Now this is not really an overclocker's board, but it is overclockable, not a problem. And you do have very nice cooling for uh, your north and south bridge chipsets, all copper, uh, very nice heat pipes, and plus it moves uh, the heat sink back here, so your uh, case fan's gonna exhaust, is gonna be sucking in the hot, uh, sucking out the hot air. So if you guys want to build an audio workstation, a video editing workstation, or you just want a really fast home computer, the Neo 3 is going to give you all the features you want with none of the extra stuff at an excellent value. You're going to get the 1333 megahertz front side bus support, so you can put your Yorkfield uh, cores in there, you can put your Wolfdale cores, and it's going to not give you anything else that you don't really need. Uh, great, great motherboard, and also if you're interested, look at the box. Very simple, recycled material. This is a very green box printed with soy ink. So, you know, they're putting the money into the board, not the box. Now, as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and email me at the address below, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the MSI P45 Neo 3 FR Intel motherboard, go to compusa.com and type in M. 452-6038 into the search box. Or you can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMP-USA.